the studio display. This is something I've been waiting for since I got my first MacBook back in 2013. And here it is. This was by far my favorite thing that was introduced and announced at the Apple event that happened just a couple weeks ago titled Peak Performance. And this is a product that I think could really benefit any MacBook user. Of course, Apple did mainly feature this with their all new high-end Mac Studio, but in reality, you could use this and pair this with a Mac Mini, MacBook, any portable Mac that you may already have. But of course, we can't all be happy. But I am. <laughs> Last year when Apple announced their all new 24 inch M1 iMac, my Twitter feed was all about then, a year later, Apple gives us a 27-inch display, and my Twitter feed now says, Why can't we just have it as an iMac? I'll tell you why. You don't need it. And the beauty about having the studio display is that it will last you for many, many years. Even if you swap out your existing hardware for new hardware, a new Mac, heck, even if you switch to a PC, this display will still work for you. And yes, I know. It doesn't have 120 hertz. Let me have my moment. <sighs> I really had to get that off my chest. Now, let's get started. Now, normally I do these unboxing on the floor, but for today, we're gonna risk it and we're gonna do it on a desk. Here we go. All right, so now we have the all too familiar origami pull tabs here. Whoop. Great, just take this guy on out. Ooh. And in the box, designed in California by Apple, they really minimize the, the paper that's included and two black Apple stickers, cute. Black is the new white. And then you do have a Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt USB-C cord here. Now this is $129 value, so thank you Apple for including it. They could have easily not have. All right, we'll set this guy off. Alrighty, now if we just give ourselves a quick little tour of what we have here. Along in the back, we do have a backpack that does house the power cord. Um, along the front, it seems to be double lined with recycled paper. So let's go ahead and start with that. We'll start with the first layer. Three leading little adhesive glue there. Let's slide that off. I, I preferred the little hello from the, um, the iMac, but we get studio display, one little pull tab. All right, we can only do this once, and here it goes. I'm telling you, there is something about an Apple display that we all crave. Now, to unleash the back, of course, Apple pricing has always been a hot topic. This quote unquote Apple tax must surely go to the R&D behind the packaging that allows us all to have that OMG unboxing experience. Of course, there's no need to even get this studio to display. Our Macs are compatible with any monitor. In fact, many of our Macs now come equipped with an HDMI port for that convenience. But in all fairness, Apple did leave plenty of time and room for the competitor to create a stunning display. In fact, it's been over 10 years since Apple has released a consumer level display out in the market. And in that time, I have not seen anything. And I'm not just talking about good quality display, but I'm also talking about a stunning design because Apple just simply knows how to do it. Many monitors out there are just made out of cheapo plastic and just don't look as nice as this guy here. So I'm actually gonna be detaching my Mac Mini from the LG monitor that it's currently attached to and attaching it to the studio display. Again, it's just one cord to do so. It's the included Thunderbolt cable cord. And from there, all you gotta do is just plug in your studio display. It is nice that the cord is braided, but it's a bummer that it's not able to be detached. And there are actually a couple ways to customize your studio display. You have the option to choose from standard glass or a nano textured glass, which is sort of a matte finish to help reduce glare, but it will be an additional $300. But don't you worry, they will include an Apple polishing cloth in that box. 
But once you've selected the finish that you're choosing, you have the option for a tilt stand like this one here, or for an additional $400, you could opt for a tilt and height adjustable stand. If you don't want to stand for that introductory price of $1,600, Apple does offer a vase mount adaptable option, which will allow you to tilt your monitor vertically. Now, don't forget, if you are a student, Apple will actually honor their student education discount and it will knock $100 off of the price of your studio display. Now, I will say that this 5K display looks absolutely stunning in person. I too binged a lot of YouTube when that embargo was lifted, but when I visited my local Apple store in person, I became elated by how stunning this 5K 600 nits of brightness display actually was. Now, this display is slightly thicker than the 24 inch iMac, and there's ventilation along the top. And because this does come equipped with the 813 Bionic chip, we are actually able to have a webcam, but not just any 12 megapixel webcam, but this is an ultra wide webcam that supports center stage, spatial audio, and even Hey Siri. So it does have a six speaker setup to deliver accurate sounds, as well as a three mic array so that those listening to you can hear you loud and clear. And then along the back, you'll find three USB-C ports that allow you to connect, power, and charge your devices, or you can simply just connect external drives to move around your files and your data. There's also one Thunderbolt port that would not just only connect to your desired Mac, but it's also capable of providing 96 watts of fast charge to a 14 inch MacBook Pro. Speaking of the MacBook Pro, I have not fully decided if I wanna pair the studio display with my 14 inch or with my M1 Mac Mini. The beauty is, is that you don't have to commit. Because the studio display has this light design, you're able to have all this versatility where you're able to just switch up your desk setups as often as you wish. Speaking of desk setups, I really do hope to be making one of those very, very soon. So if you do like viewing that type of content or Apple related content, be sure to be subscribed to the channel if you have not already. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this unboxing, you know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment on the way out. Those two things help even more than you could even imagine. So doing one or even both of those things really do help. And until next time.